Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick video to talk about a update, a Windows update that appeared yesterday. This is only for Windows 10 versions on creators updates. So if you're on Windows 7, you're on another version of Windows, this does not affect you. You do not have another update. Uh, this is part of what Microsoft says. We'll have more than one update a month now. Uh, one will be the patches, of course, for Patch Tuesday for security. Another one, bug fixes and uh, new features. So KB4020102, the one you see at the top here, installed yesterday. It was released uh, at the beginning of the afternoon yesterday uh, to everyone on the creator's update. So what does this do? Well, it's really a lot of bug fixes. So uh, addressed issues where NTLM fails to generate challenge response in credit card. Addressed issue where Internet Explorer does not respect the send all sites not included uh, in the enterprise mode, addressed issues of Internet Explorer 11, where a non-administrator user is not able to install ActiveX controls, addressed issues where starting split view, some apps, my Edge, Hub, uh, Cortana, no longer receive input from multiple displays are used, the addressed issue for unnecessary scroll bar in the logon credential provider dialog, issue with the virtual machine reset and uh, paging system, Issues for some funds that have problems, addressed issues with SMS messaging app that stops working when attempting to delete messages. They address an issue after installing Creators Update audio output through external decoders not longer work. Uh, so uh, this I had as an issue, by the way, when I uh, use the HDMI output, uh, the audio output would not work and uh, this fixes that, by the way. I addressed issue for Internet of Things shell fails to keep monitored background applications. I addressed issue with high latency when using the Universal Windows Platform MIDI API. I addressed issue with network printers that may fail to install when using the printer vendor setup software with machines that have less than 4 gigabytes of RAM. So these printers will install now. I uh, addressed issue with the print BRM fails to restore uh, print queue configuration issue for proxy settings not working or migrating correctly. So there's a few things here that are working. Uh, one of the things also that is now working in Creators Update, what was broken, one of the things was broken is that on the antivirus on the bottom right, the Windows Defender, you had to right click and click the open button to get there. Well, they fixed that and now you can double click on it. It actually works. So these are all sorts of little things that they fixed here. So if you had issues with Creators Update, this might fix some of these issues. Um, so um, basically check it out, KB4020102. And this is only for people that have Creators Update. And by the way, talking about that, you don't have Creators Update. Uh, one thing that I did see this morning also is that some people that didn't have it yet in the Windows Update now have it after this update is actually being pushed. So that means this update fixes some issues also for people that couldn't upgrade yet to Windows Update, uh, to one of the Creators Update because there was an issue with their system. So this is really bug fixes, technically, uh, really um, a, a, a system of fixing. Now, if you want to know if you've got it after the install, go down to the Cortana search box type, Winver, and here in Windows version, you should see that you are now at 15063.332. So this is what's happening with this latest update on the um, Creators Update. So uh, KB4020102 brings you to 15063.332. And if you have that, you've got the latest update. So uh, hopefully it fixes some of the bugs that you might have. It is an update, of course, like I said, pushed only to Windows 10 Creators Update. So hope that uh, everybody's got it right. There doesn't seem to be any issues or problem here. So check it out if you've pushed it. Does it fix something that maybe were, was broken in your system? Uh, why not share? It doesn't seem that everything is in here. Um, for example, that fix of the uh, um, Windows Defender double click on the icon is not in the blog post. So there are probably a lot of little things also that are not in the blog post, but that are fixed in here. So uh, check it out on your system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.